So currently we are in an R studio and we have already set our working directory. In our working directory, you can see a one file having the two different parameters against the drug dose for the blood pressure. This file name is blood.csv. We will use this file and we will try to apply the S statistics on it. To use this file, let's first load that file. And we hope so that now you guys will be quite comfortable that how you can load the CSV file in your R studio. So first we are going to write down the name of the variable where we want to store the data of this file. We are going to set the name of that variable as sample underscore data. After this, we will give a sign of equality and we will repeat the same process as we have repeated many times before. After writing this piece of code, we will run it by hitting the run button or pressing the control enter key. Once you will do that, then look at the environment tab. Our data is successfully loaded. So let's click on this one and let's view our data. When you will click on this one and view your data, then you can see it here that there are the two columns. In the first column, which is going to have a blood pressure measurement under the low dose of the drug. While the second column is going to have a blood pressure measurements under the high dose of the drug. So let's check the R structure of this data set by using the str function. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. In the console, you can find out the name of your two variables which are present in your data. And we are also going to have an idea that there are the 30 observations. As we have told you in a previous video tutorial, that the order of the groups in the code is pretty important. The group with the highest variance should come first, while the group with the low variance should come second. It means that to use the F statistics code, First, we need to calculate the variance of each group. To calculate the variance of the each group, we will type the var function. And we told you earlier that this is basically an R based function. You don't need to call any library to use that function. After typing var, you will give the parentheses, and within the parentheses, you will write down the name of the variable which is holding your data. After typing this, we will give the dollar sign. After typing the dollar sign, we will select the name of the column. Let's say that first we are interested to calculate the variance of the low dose group. So we will select the low dose group and then we will run it. When we will run it, then look at the console. In the console, you are going to have the variance of this group. And the variance of this group is 19.85. Now let's calculate the variance of the second column. We can do it by typing var and then writing down the name of the variable which is holding our data and then we will give the dollar sign. And after giving the dollar sign, we will select the name of the second column which is a high dose group. After selecting this, we will run this piece of code and when we will run this piece of code, then look at the console. We are going to have the answer of 17.90. This is a variance of the second group or the second column. Now, which column will come first in the code of the F statistics? Obviously, this is going to be the low dose group. While the high dose group will come second. Now, this is time to calculate the F statistics. To calculate the F statistics, you need to first call the BSDA library. We hope so that you guys will be quite comfortable to call that library by yourself using the library function. Now, the BSDA library is called after calling that BSD library, let's calculate the F statistics. Let's create a new variable named test. After typing the test, give a sign of equality in R. After typing the sign of equality in R, we will write down the war.test function. After writing down war.test, we will give the parentheses. Now within the parentheses, we will define our X and Y. Now keep it into mind that the X will be a group with a high variance. So we will type x, then we will give a sign of equality, and after giving a sign of equality, we will write down the name of the variable which is holding our data, and then we will give a dollar sign, and after giving a dollar sign, we will select the column name that will have the high variance, and that is a low dose group as we have calculated earlier. After this, we will give a comma. After giving a comma, we will type Y and now we will write down the name of the second column with the low variance. And after giving a comma, we will use the alternative argument 
to define the type of the test which will be the right handed. After defining the right tail test, we will give a comma and now we will define the level of significance by typing conf.level argument. After typing conf.level, we will give a sign of equality and we will write down 0.99. It means that at 99% level of significance, we want to perform this hypothesis testing. After typing this piece of code, let's run it. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. Did you find any error message? No. It means that our code is successfully executed. Now let's print out the values. To print out the values, you will type print and then you will give the parentheses and within a parenthesis, you will type the test. Now after this, let's run it. And when you will run it, then look at the console. In the console, you are going to have the F value, the degree of freedom for the first group, the degree of freedom for the second group and the P value. And here we are interested in the p-value. Now look at the p-value. The p-value in this case is 0 0.3916. By looking at this p-value, what do you think that? Your null hypothesis is rejected or accepted? This p-value is far greater than your set alpha value. And your set alpha value was 0 0.01. So if your p-value is greater than your alpha value, it means that your null hypothesis is rejected while your alternative hypothesis is accepted. If your p-value is greater than your set alpha value, it means that we are failed to reject our null hypothesis and our null hypothesis is accepted. We hope so that this point will be clear to you now.